Good morning and welcome to day two of our cruise to New Zealand. We are spending the day at sea today. It's going to be formal night and there's an ice show to watch. So we're really excited about that. We actually woke up early this morning to go to the gym. We did it. Yeah, we actually went to the gym. So it felt really good. The gym was very, very nice. But the ship is still moving a lot and there was rain outside. So right now it's just kind of really gloomy, really cloudy, no sun at all. Really windy, super windy because it's going really fast. And um, oh, that's that's right, my video camera, Andrew, fixed it. Yay! So right now I'm back to video recording on the video camera. Oh, camcorder. Um, and yeah, hopefully it won't mess up again because my digital camera isn't just, isn't very good. Um, yeah, it keeps blurring. But, awesome. So, we are going to head down for some breakfast and uh, yeah, see what today will bring us. Here we are at the main dining room for we'll a bit of breakfast with the family. Oops, oh, no, little girl just spit some orange juice. Instead of going to the buffet for breakfast, we're just gonna sit down together because the, at the buffet it's pretty impossible to almost, it's actually pretty impossible to get a seat for nine. Uh, we'll have to split up uh, like every time. So if we do it this way, we can eat together. Yeah, we can eat together. And also we get waited on, which is nice. And also I don't feel the need. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. Maggie, say good morning. Maggie, oh, good morning. Oh, she, she has no fun. <laughs> She's not happy right now, so. so sorry to blur. Aww. Aho. Good morning. Good morning. That's this handsome guy routine. Anna, Anna, good morning. Is that too bad? Hey, yo, yo. She just waves. That's it. And we have a fantastic view. Um, okay, that's not fantastic. View. There you go. That's it. Oh, look, the sun has come out. Look at that. It was really, really cloudy and kind of rainy, but the sun has come out. So I guess we're technically moving towards the sun. So very, very nice view. So we're on the top deck now, making our way to the sports deck. And it's really, really windy. Oh my gosh, look at that. The ship is going so fast. Oh my god, look at that. And the water in the pool slosh of the Here we are in the Ocean Adventure Club. Aquanauts for three to five, but because the oldest seven, she can't speak any English. So we're just going to keep the kids here. And now it's time for some super windy uh, mini golf. Earlier today, we saw, just now actually, we saw some guy play mini golf. He's near the edge there. He's near the edge there, and his badge flew, like he was doing a lanyard, and he flew right off his head. And it was just floating in the air. Uh, yeah, good thing they caught it and they didn't fall off the ship, but holy snap. Yay, mini golf! So, Tommy, what are you about to do? Rock climbing. Rock climbing, have you ever done it before? No. No, so this is the first time? Yes. Very excited? Yes. Yeah, did you get ready? Yeah, I don't know. Are you gonna make it all the way to the top? I hope so. Yeah? yeah. In one try? Yeah? Yes, I will try. Okay. Try. All right then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Off he goes. Let's see how far he makes it. Up this top, he's already made it about halfway. All right. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Whoa! Whoa! He's gonna make it. It's right there. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! He did it. Bring the bell! Bring the bell! Bring the bell! Bring the bell. Bring the bell. Bring the bell. 
Hi there. It's a bit dark right now because we're at the ice show. Uh, I brought the professor along. Yay! <laughs> because I'm sure he loves this guy. He's very cultured that way. He definitely likes watching ice shows. Um, earlier today, like just as we were coming in, we saw the activity, one of the activities directors, and he's actually from Canada. Um, and not just from Canada, he's from Niagara Falls, which I go to all the time. I mean, I love, I love Niagara Falls. Oh, that and, uh, yeah, that was really that cool to see another Canadian on board. Cause like that's just, it's so rare to have a Canadian that works here. I don't know, I've never met a Canadian that works on a cruise ship. So that was really cool. And uh, because he's an activities director, I hope to see I don't him know. more because I'll probably be showing up to a bunch of those activities. All right, now we're gonna look forward to the show, and then we're gonna show you a bit of it. So unfortunately, uh, there's no video recording, and there's crew members all over to make sure you don't record. But this is basically the end of the show. It was a fantastic show. It was actually based on tarot cards. So we had a fool, we had a hermit, we had lovers, we had some sun god. It was really, really, really cool and fantastic. I just loved it. And there was like three of them were from Canada. Sorry, I gotta focus. Our ship uh, tour, I guess. This is High Notes. This is one of the, the probably the, yeah, the tallest uh, lounge in this, in this ship. It's really nice. This is the area I remember where they usually have the meet and mingles from Cruise Critic, but we weren't able to sign ourselves up for that this time. Cute place, definitely dance club. Very nice place. Very nice looking. Oh, it's kind of dark because facing out, but it's just. This in, see a little more. Nice. Here we have on this floor Izumi, the Japanese restaurant on the ship. Again, it's an extra. To pay extra for this. I'm not quite sure how much extra, but really pretty. Hello. Wow, this is really pretty. Yeah, this is a special Japanese restaurant. Very pretty. So now we're coming to the uh, li oh, well, library slash card room. Oh, cool! Awesome, they've got games! Apples, apples! Awesome! Scrabble, some games we're able to play here. Space for books. I guess it was the, the card room and the library you can get access through those stairs. Let's go check out the library. This ship is so pretty. Look at these stairs. These stairs are just so pretty. Maybe I'm easily impressed. I don't know. I, I really like it. Whoa, they have like no books. Oh yeah, they have foreign language books, so they have books in Chinese. Go to go 13. Oh my god, they have manga here. Huh, I wonder if people left these. Whoa, there's a... These bookshelves are very bare. I'm not used to that. I'm used to these books lined. But then again, they did do a refurbishment. Recently, they might have gotten rid of all their old tattered books. Andrew found Artemis Fowl, a hardcover. This is part of the foreign language, so it's not in English. But uh, it's the Opal Deception because that's the only thing I can think about Opal's name. And uh, if anybody can tell me what language this is, that would be fantastic. So, you know, leave it in the comments. What language is this? By the way, for all you Artemis Fowl fans out there, have you cracked the code? I uh, cracked the fairy code. My sister actually won in summer she decided to do it and she did it without the decoder too because eventually they published a decoder for you to translate yourself but she just kind of like did it herself there's a i remember there's a secret message at the back of one of the books and she just wanted to solve it so she read it turned out to be like a pre like an excerpt of the next book which is pretty cool we are back in our room and um i just realized that the swaying of the ship is actually really 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 strong right now uh super strong uh probably stronger than last night but I'm not feeling as bad as I did yesterday because yesterday it was just I could not I couldn't take I had to take medicine but today it's kind of like I feel like yeah I'm just going with the flow of the ship it's not so bad so um I just ordered a cheese plate from room service so I'm excited to eat that yes maybe should I videotape it 
No, I'll have pictures up on my Instagram. So, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, somewhere in the comments below, I will have my Instagram there. And then you will be able to see all the food pictures I took on this cruise and then be super jealous that all this food came complimentary. So jelly. Hello, today we are all dressed up. I'm in my Chinese dress that I bought for my, uh, for the wedding that I haven't worn since. Yes, yeah, that's pretty high. Okay, that I haven't worn since and I haven't had a really a good um, opportunity to wear them. So I'm really glad that I'm gonna wear it twice. This cruise, there's two formal nights and so I'm gonna wear it twice. And also, like, check out my hair, if you can see. Got a little, little fun thing. Can you see that? Uh, anyways, it's, it's, it's held up by just like a stick. No stick, just poke right through. And so we, uh, we've actually had dinner. We went to watch the headlining show. And now we came back to our room to this lovely little, uh, towel animal with Andrew's sunglasses. Yeah. Tonight we're gonna get a finish the lyric song and then we're gonna maybe hit the hot tub and fall asleep. And yeah, I'm calling it a night. Good night.